Oh boy. <laughs> okay, listen. This might be a long one. It's actually not for a consult. Well, not, it's what it is. Um, <clears throat> was it, was it, it is what it is. A lot of people say that. Look, uh, I'm shaking up my little uh, Three Trees uh, organic black sesame and nut seed milk. No sugar added. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna need a big, I'm gonna need a big tall glass for this one. Um, let's treat what reason why it might be a little longer than I wanted. Uh, first of all, just a little tiny. I've explained this several times, but I've got to put it in one video here. This channel, the channel that you're viewing right now, has uh, started really uh, 2014, something like that, uh, with the with the the first posting, and the first yeah, I think the first. Well, one of the first posting was for, for because Alambe Brath, uh, the great Pan-Africanist uh, Alambe Brath had passed. I, you know, I was out of the country. I was in Africa at the time. Uh, so I couldn't go to the funeral. It was a long funeral, like they tell me. That was like, you know, I don't know, hours long. You know, I don't know. Let me just make up a number like seven hours long. It was long. I don't know. Anyway, so I made so I, I made a two-part thing of talking about Alambe because uh, I had a long association with Alambe Brath. Little BAI radio and just whatever. Just do. I'm an archivist. Yeah, in fact, I got a new take this another time. Uh, and I used to uh, take the forms of him and uh, some more markers would put on put on the horn, and uh, then we'd give the tapes to uh, uh, to BAI and to uh, various other people, you know, to, to air and stuff like that. So I had, like I said, had a long association with Lombie, so I did a I did a piece on him and. And uh, at the same time, I you know, had been talking to this guy down at the, uh, in the library at, 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 um, at University of Fort Hare Library. And he was saying, because we, we just talked, let it be riffing. And he says, I'm, well, are you writing this stuff down? And I said, oh, I didn't think about it. You know? So Lombi was the first one I did as a two-parter. So I did that. And then from then on, I just kept on. I was talking to this guy. He was off camera. I had to have somebody to talk to for well, what I did, what I did, I did, and so so that's what it is. Because me and radio, I have a long history in radio. But I actually have an undergrad degree in communications, believe it or not, mass communication. And uh, one of my things about radio is when or when you're talking on podcasts, but it, it, which is one of the reasons why I'm, I'm jumping. But I have to say that the success of uh, Joe Rogan's podcast is this: he's talking to one person live there like that. So when you're talking, what used to be this guy named Arthur Godfrey did radio. Don't worry about it. Oh, I got. Well, well, when he they said, well, he had the number one radio program in all the whole nation, right? They said, well, how do you do it? He said, well, I put a little smile on the microphone and I talk to that one smile. That's what that's what you said. So when I talk, you usually uh, uh, so, I have, so I had to have to talk to one person. You're talking to one person, just one intensely talk to one person. You're not talking to a mass thing because you talk to a mass thing, things become complicated, you know. Because uh, not only because you, know, you 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 believe you're talking to a huge audience, therefore you have to take another posture, and you and you you know you, you're different, you know like like when the singers in 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 the in, 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 uh, in the studio, and they're singing into the microphone, they're singing into one microphone, but they're usually thinking about one thing, one thing. But when they get on stage to this mass, you know, it's a difference: twenty five people, twenty five hundred people. 25,000 people, 250,000 people. You, you you change each and every time, you see? It's just the way it is. So when I talk, I usually try to talk to one person. That would be you, you see? Okay, here we go. So that's what happened. So, so then basically I was just chronicling, if you want to see, uh, 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 audio, even though I know it's visual because it was just on tape, I'm thinking that's audio. An audio memoir of my journeys, you know, various things through life. That's all this channel is. And then and then 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 I had my whole thing with interviewing. So because I have a whole thing with communications with interviewing. You know, I do a lot of author interviews back in the day when I was at BAI. A lot of interviews. But I love interviewing people. Like I like to put them in front of the camera and on the back of the camera. Since then I've, I've I've evolved in the last few months to do this other kind of interview where I'm like it's a little bit on in, in camera because I find uh, psychologically, I think what happens when people are just talking to me behind the camera, even though they're talking to me, it's different. I mean, it's almost like they're saying, it's almost like they say they, it's almost like they're they're saying, well, you're not here with me. I'm with them, but they're not with them. So when I do this thing on camera, I first did it with um, with Mike Sargent, I think, 
uh, where it was very interesting because I'm looking, he's talked directly to me. And it's almost like he forgets about the camera, really. When you're behind the camera, they don't forget about the camera. So it's just very interesting. I, so I'm starting to do this with some other with some other people when they're talking, looking at me. It's, it's kind of very interesting. So I'm, I'm experimenting with that now. Whew, sorry for all that. Because uh, my interviews is what I like the best. But my ranting like that has to do with um, chronicling, basically, like I said, memoirs. But then what happened last year, September, doesn't matter. I started body following a vet with, with with the whole um, uh, Farrakhan thing and whatever. Voice, blah, 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 blah. But then uh, about, I think it was about February this year, 2019, when I started to officially uh, have this ADOS um, playlist channel where I would, if you watch it from from the beginning, you see my my journey through ADOS. Okay, that's my my development, how I my, my thoughts of how it happened. So 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 now we're at this juncture of something happening that I have to deal with it. Ah, I thought I could escape this, you know. Let me say, uh, so let me start by saying this. Um, I, 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 like I said, my money do. I do. I still do interviews. I did interview um, uh, James Small in September, September first, two thousand fifteen. Okay, so it's like four years ago. Yeah, two thousand fifteen, and I came to him. I had to come up to New York, uh, um, and I came to. I used to come to New York every two years. Now I got to do it like every six months or whatever it is. But uh, and and I said, James. I need a, a clan affiliation. You know what I mean? I need a, a, a name. So we had this long, as a, I put the link in it. We had this uh, almost hour, maybe or less than an hour, talk about identity, basically. And he was saying, yeah, you know, I've been talking about this for years. Da, 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 da. So let's just, just to put a thing on it. Let's just say from 2015, even before that, there's something in what I call the epoch. The, the, uh, a, um, um, it's a... Um, I would say, uh, uh, epoch, I mean, this epoch means just a, a, an error, you know, and then what happens all over the world, it's in the, it's in the ether. Things start happening and people start concretizing about these, this idea. Uh, this guy, Cliff High, talks about this a little bit with language, you know, I mean, okay, let, let me, just, just let me not meander too, too much. So what I'm saying is that in my world, at least in 2015, there's this whole thing about identity and, and, and naming your clan and being specific about what your, your mission is. Let's say on, on, on a plan. Well, I'm not going to go that. Now, let me go back a little bit about this whole epoch thing. Right now, all over the world, there's, 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 there's insurrection all over the world, and it's about the bankers. It's about the, the bankers, you know, and I've been following this too. And uh, and so this is happening all over upheavals all over the world, and and whatever you're doing, you're you're believing that you're still a part of it, whether you take a part or not, you know. Okay, now let me get to what we have to talk about today, this morning. It's early in the morning. Well, not that early. So I was having a fine weekend. <laughs> Friday night, hanging out with my boy Chris, you know, right? well, well, not sure my boy, he's not black, but that's why I got kids, because I'm, I'm, I'm in theater, you know, and so, and, and a lot of times I like to go to off, off-Broadway off shows, you know, and, and, and you can do whatever you do in, these, in your little, you know, group, there's a group, uh, old, old white people, you know what I mean, they have this thing where they, they're all together, and they they, they, they write plays, and like retired people, they've been writing plays for 30 years, whatever have you, and they all act, and, 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 and direct, and write their, and, you know, and, write their own pieces and then they present. It was a really good, good, good night. It's a Friday night. It was wonderful, you know what I mean? And uh, and so, so it was so, so a little, it's just re really good. Then after that, uh, so, so that little, and I went, oh, I wanted I wanted a falafel from Monk Boots, you know, down there in the village. So I went down there. Then as I was getting off the train, the Waverly Theater is there and they're playing Parasite. Now, I should tell you this. I'm a film junkie. I'm just, I watch film. That's what I do. That's one of the things I do. Man. So I had to see this film. <laughs> so I spent the whole two hours meandering around the village with my moments and da 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 da. So see the film. It's, it's a good film. It's interesting. I uh, I should say this too. Also, I do a lot of foreign films. I used to do a lot of foreign films. You know, um, that's why. Anyway, this is a Korean guy. It's a good film. I won't get into it. Um, and so I, had, I love. I uh, then I I go. Uh, I was I was I didn't stay here that night. I went. I was staying someplace else, and I went to sleep. I got up in the morning, came back here, blah, 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 blah. It was pretty good. I had an interview. Then I had an interview at, at noon here. So I, I interviewed this brother, you know what I mean? Um, it was interesting. You know, it's a three-part thing. I one of the parts down right now. And uh, 
He's an ex-Panther. We interviewed certain things. You'll see I use that technique against me being on and off the camera. Worked very well. I haven't finished posting all this stuff. So that was a Saturday. And I forgot what I did Saturday night. You know what I mean? But then Sunday, uh, I, I was writing and stuff like that. But then um, I had to beat uh, Loretta Duma and, and this woman, Gloria. And uh, Gloria, back in the day in Livingston College, when I was at Livingston College, back in Somerset, you know, well, you know, Rutgers campus, uh, she used to, at her home, she used to do these Kwanzaa events. You know what I mean? I think she started, she said she started in 71. I didn't get there until it was like 74, no, 72. She started, anyway, I got in 74. So I went at one of her early Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa things, right? Let me just say something about Kwanzaa. I like Kwanzaa, okay? We can't, we don't do that, but you know, first fruit, whatever, but I like it because it falls between Christmas and thing, and there's oh, the whole black thing. Don't get me wrong. I can deal with Ron Karanga. There's a lot of people I can do, but this idea of Kwanzaa is more important to me than what I feel about Ron Karanga, okay? I won't even get into him, but, you know, whatever. So, 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 so anyway, so, so, so I hadn't seen her in a long time, you know, she's, whatever. so we talk blah, 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 and we go in, because we're going to Metropolitan Museum of Art, because what happens as a, uh, one of her friends that they go every two years, they put on this show, and I, I'll post things on that. They put on this show of the staff puts their artwork up. So I went to, went to see them. And of course, I have a cat with me. And so, oh uh, my, cell phone with me. And so, uh, the, I, I, so, so this guy, uh, Shaba, he's he, he's one of the, he, he works for the museum, and one of his pieces, well, he did an altar to Randy Weston, right? And uh, as it turns out, he's a he's a graduate of of a Livingston College, so we alumni. We really hooked up. And when I come back in you know, next year, and I really wanted to in depth interviews with him. But anyway, so we that was so really good, really good. So then. Um, I mean, let me go home and do some writing or do something, you know, post this or something like that. So I, I jump on, you know, have one, get up here. Whew. So I turned on the internet. Mistake. I shouldn't say that's not true. <laughs> that's such a good weekend. Well, so I turn on, you know, I love listening to Tariq. Tariq is just entertaining to me. You know, I mean, that's just, I mean, very informative, whatever have you. Let me say something about Tariq and what he does, right? You have to understand, one of the things I did in the early 80s, a long time, um, I uh, I went to, I used to go to First World Alliance. You know what I mean? That's, that, was my, that was my Saturday spot, you know. <laughs> that, so I had by John Andrew Clark, just everybody, you know, what I mean, was there. Alan Van Sertema, Millie Fuller, everybody was there. You know, and everybody passed through there if you had any consciousness. So in that era, the, the, and the place was packed, you know what I mean? We had this whole thing, you, were, you know, the women sit down, the men on the side, the whole thing. And it was really interesting because only one speaker would speak, and then, you know, and then you would get up on form a line and you could ask a question of that one speaker, again, it's one on one. That's very important. Well, I, I think it's important. So, what Tariq does is very simple. All the stuff that we learned the First World Alliance, or we understand the First World he's basically put on camera, okay? In a very good way, he's a good um, 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 filmmaker. Okay, he's a good filmmaker. The, the cin cinematic qualities, blah blah blah. His even his, uh, his his marketing is very good. So now the people now 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 people look at him and say, "Oh, this is great! This is great!" Right, right? Because they're basically looking at First World Alliance kind of work. But I won't get them. It's short as let me just leave it there. But also. Tariq has a knowledge for whatever it is because he has a background in this whole romance, you know, you know, relationship thing, you know, and it's very important. Relationships very important. Well, so I turned on the internet. Tariq, I saw Tariq's on. Let me, because I love listening to Tariq, you know, when you, you, you're talking about things and da da da. And he doesn't do it in a, to me, he doesn't do it in a mean way. He do it in a Tariq way. So it's very good. Let me go back and say something. I had heard Yvette Carnell uh, on, it was a special Friday cast. Well, that's right. That's one of the things I did. I heard Yvette. And then she said something about, uh, because I know Tariq was doing this uh, foundational Black Black Americans conference, and I had signed up very early uh, you know, when they first heard it. You know, just like when I first heard AD, AD was having a conference, I signed up immediately because these are historic things to me, right? 
So very early, I, I signed up. Something happened with his uh, Kickstarter or something like that. So I got kicked off of that. And then we put this other thing on, this other whatever is in the go-go, whatever. So I, again, I signed up there. So my whole thing was going like, oh, this is great. You know, so we're going to have, and they said, I think he said he was going to do it in August or something like that. I said, okay, so we have the, the one punch, you know, Boom! Because because to read that's basically a cultural thing. I mean, he has this inf information, but the culture said we have to we hit him with the cultural boom, and then October comes around, then we hit him with the political boom. You know, and so yay! You know, um, uh, you know, Black Americans are on the move. We gonna be we gonna fight this monster. We got we got the one two punch. You know, I'm ready for it. You know, I'm, I'm excited. You know, well, so. Is that or Friday? Or something like that. I don't, I don't know. Tariq is doing this. Uh, this uh, uh, I don't know what he's doing. You know how she dismisses things like that. I'm going like, ay, 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 ay. But it was in the back of my mind. I didn't really think nothing of it. Well, Saturday. And then, oh, then I heard Tone. Tone said something also about about Tariq and how blah, blah, blah. And we were the first. I don't know, whatever, whatever he said. Again, these things, to me, look, it's like, let me put it this way. <coughs> if the shoe fits, you wear it. If it don't fit, then you, well, basically, what I do is I laugh at it. You know, I, I don't even look at, well, whatever it is. So when when when, to, when, when the event for us starts start, and, and jumping on boomers, I'm a boomer. But I know that I'm an outlier boomer. You know what I mean? I know what she's talking about, but I don't find it necessary to really jump on people. But, you know, but I, I to me, it's absurd. I laugh, you know, well, like, because I am what I am. I do what I do. Da, 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 right? But then, but then she has the thing of, of when she, she that's what I'm saying, she, she snipes it. You know what I mean? I remember a long time ago, a brother called up one time talking about cryptocurrency, about Bitcoin. And she went off about, you know, oh, that's not real. And whatever she said. But she said, you know, I have faith. Basically, she had to say, I have faith in fiat money and blah, 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 blah. But the way I can hear, you can hear because the microphone doesn't glide. You can hear the brother was trying to get through to her, but she was just dismissing it really bad. I'm like, oh, this is not good because I understand cryptocurrency. I'm not a money person, but I, I, if you ever on this channel, you see how I do Bitcoin um, donations. I don't ask for money. I don't ask for subscribers, nothing like that. I don't have no PayPal nothing, or whatever, Patreon, nothing like that. But this whole crypto thing that I have on my buy thing is actually, I don't even look at the account. It's an experiment, not an experiment. It's something I was drawn into. I explained this in another video. Uh, because the, the group, the, the young people I'm working with there, they want to subscribe as cryptocurrency. So I had to sort of just, well, I just posted, I don't even know what's going on with that, with that account, with my wallet, and nothing like that. But I know it's important, and because I also listened to Max Kaiser, who has been on crypto since 2011, and I first came about 2014 understanding this stuff, um, I know what it is, okay? And I know that it's part of what of this upheaval, okay? But let me just, I want to get off of that. I'm just trying to say, but the way she just, at times, just knocks things out, and people who are supposed to do research without just laying low, let it pour out, just listening, and then say, well, let me look into that. She don't do that kind of thing. <sighs> so that's Yvette. Okay, but you all know Yvette, okay? We all know and love Yvette, okay? This just the way it is. <clears throat> Tone is a whole nother bad. I came to Tone after, later. But Tone, again, he has a caustic kind of thing. And and it's, like I said, the microphone doesn't lie. If you're not, it just doesn't lie. It's like stage. It doesn't lie. You know, it's like, uh, um, um, when I was arts director for BAI, I was in charge of music director. So I would tell my DJs, you know, it's like theater. You know, you can't just come in off the street and just jump into front of the microphone because you got to decompose. You know, you got to, you know, you got to let, because you're, you're doing a performance is basically what you're doing. It's like theater. Theater, you have to have a half hour theater for, for a good reason. You got to go there, make sure everybody's there. You make sure your makeup's on. You get into character, blah, 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 blah. So, so that's what it is. And if you're something else, you got to make up a character for yourself. I mean, even when I'm talking to you, actually, this is really me, but I'm just saying I'm, I'm sort of a weirdly exaggerated me and sort of some sort of, sort of sort of thing. I'm trying to be entertaining, right? Well, I'm not trying to be entertaining. I'm just being me. But the point is, tone has this constant thing. And then and then the other thing is you can't constantly, you can, but you, you when you re constantly repeat things, it becomes... It becomes a thing, you know, when he keeps on talking about people don't have a degree or I have a degree, I'm a lawyer, da 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 but People, you hear that, people, but people, especially things like lawyers and whatever, people don't really want to hear that. People don't know what I want to know about your PhD. You know, I stay with, 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 with uh, Dr. James Conyers. In his class, 
they don't, he has a PhD or whatever, he, he know, you know what I mean? He's he conscious brother, right? But in his class, you, 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 can call, you can call him Brother James, you can call him blah, blah, you can want to say professor, blah, blah, but he doesn't go with the doctor so-and-so, da, 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 da. you know you see what I'm saying? In fact, you know, you, those of us who know him, I call him buddy because that's, he's my fraternity brother. But the point is, he, you wouldn't know what he is, you know? Because the knowledge is your knowledge and how you, okay, let me, I'm meandering once again. That's another thing I do. I meander a lot. Hmm. Okay. There's something that happened with Tone. Uh, when we was at the conference, you know, they they, were, they had a professional film crew filming thing, whatever have you. And uh, because I have a different kind of perspective, because I, I, I came about this from Africa, you know what I mean? Sydney in Africa, and then started charting it. Then, uh, then, then I told somebody, I said, oh, no, you should be, you, I want to film you. So uh, I, I was this whole day, they was doing a bunch of other people. And when it came to me, I think it was near the end of the day, they were sort of kind of tired. But you could tell the filmmaker, he really didn't want to deal with whatever I was going to tell him. You know, he was, you know, you could, you could just see, because he was there, you know, behind the camera, he asked me a question, and I would answer a question. But then he was through. But then Tone jumped in. Because Tone knew the, the this this Tone is very smart. He knew the, the value of what of of my experience. So he jumped in. and He started to ask questions, right? And I was answering the best of my ability, you know, blah 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 blah. blah. Then he went to Africa and how Africans talk, da 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 da. And then then he said something very curious at the end. He said something like, "Oh, well, that's all I needed to know." Some, some something you know, sort of like strange, you know. It struck me as strange. I don't remember what. That's too bad I didn't film that. Um, you know, and I think what happens is Tone has an agenda, you know, and he keeps on pushing the agenda instead of feeling or uh, communicating or whatever have you. So it comes and even when 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 when, he, when, he, when he's talking to his own guests, it's like it's like he's he's, he's got to get a point across. So the point of this whole thing, and I'm gonna keep on going, is Tariq be correct. I know we all have outsides, you know. This in this day and age, you know, you you pick your side, and then you your 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 team, you know, your team breaking brown, your team tone talks, you know. What I mean, you're you 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 you're the B one brigade, you're the da da, you da 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 da, you know. What I mean, I personally, am, you know, I'm personally, I call myself a denizen of uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. I say denizen because Neely Fuller Jr. don't want no followers either. If you ever get an email from me, it says, I follow no one, I seek no followers. Okay, and this is the way Tariq is. So some sort of a weird, I don't know. So what am I? What am I saying? Sad to say, Tone doesn't have charisma. He has an agenda, but he doesn't have charisma. He doesn't. You know, it's caustic. You know, Yvette, she has some charisma, but she's not. She's not developing it. To she needs to develop it. She's out here too too late. She's out here. She needs to develop it. The space of liberation is comes from many angles. I have to deal, believe me, I'm in this strange thing. I got to deal with it. I mean, I know a lot of Hotep brothers. I know a lot of Pan-Africanists. I know a lot. I'm, <laughs> like I told you, man. So it's difficult for me to try to explain it. I think I got it so I can explain people and I get them stopping for a second. But people, they take one little thing. They take a little thing and they go off on it, you know? It's like, I love my wife. Okay, baby, we argue a lot. Why? Because she's her. You know, she's a. You know, she's a. She's an Aries, <laughs> like that. I'm a Cancer. You know, just chill. You know, okay, right. But what happens? We have an argument. Like it's that long. I'll say one tiny word. You know, she'll like she'll jump on that thing. Not dealing with the entire thing, and then I have to deal with trying to. It, it gets to be like, I don't, you know, this is what happens uh, a lot. People will take one little thing of what somebody's saying, and instead of dealing with holistically that thing and, and the holistic thing, they'll jump on that one thing. So uh, so when I was listening to uh, Tariq, he was saying, yeah, now Yvette is on Twitter. Yvette, get off of Twitter. Let me give you a little secret. You have, a, I'll say denizens, you have enough denizens, I'm not going to say followers, I'm not going to say whatever. You have enough denizens, let them do your work, right? You need to concentrate on some other stuff, okay? You really do. You can't, you can't argue with everybody. There are people 
in your sphere that will deal with that, okay? You don't have to do that. But here's the other thing if that has to know. Here's where tone is absolutely correct. When I looked at ADOS, I looked at it as a political movement. Give it, I'm, 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 I'm using, I'm saying, uh, uh, event and tone on our progenitors. Actually, it started with event, really. And and you you have a political uh, bent, and you have good political ideas. So when you have political, this is policy 101. You know, this is policy 201. And some of our listeners, some of our listeners, some of our, us listeners say that now, but you don't really hear events saying about policy 101. He comments on every little thing that happens. That's a Twitter mentality. You can't do that. I'll give you a perfect example. The news jumping down on 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 on, uh, on Black Panther. Yo, I'm Killmonger, whatever have you. I was going like, oh lord, you don't know Phil. I know Phil. I was trying to say, oh man, but people, you know, you, you, you I'm, I'm Team Killmonger. That's it. I'm not going to do no more analysis. I've identified my team, and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going like, no, you're not Team. Any, if you are, let me use Tariq term, If you're a foundational Black American, if you're a, an American that descended slave slavery, right? Um, then what you are, you are actually. I know it's going to hurt because you think Killmonger is whatever it is. You are actually, you should be a, a, a Nakia because what black people are in the United States, what we are, we are actually spies. We've been in the belly of the beast. We know how this beast works. We can destroy this beast, right? But not, but 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 we can because we have all the tools. We, we've seen the beast inside, out. We, we know all the ins and outs. But if we're just going to be, you know, we, if we're just going to be Killmark, we only know half of the story of the beast. You understand? This, this, is not, this is not getting good. This is not, I'm not making myself plain home. What I'm saying is this. We all have our strengths and our weaknesses. You have to know your weaknesses so that you can strengthen them and take your strength that might be too strong. And at times you have to tone it down. Okay? So, we have, our, we have a situation now where... The, the, the two of the forces that correctly identified uh, our people or I wouldn't say two of the forces because I don't think the Tariq is at war. Tariq is just saying, hey, leave me alone. I'm, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm not looking for no glory, no da-da. It's, you know, I'm not, not doing it. I think that's what Tariq is actually saying. But he's absolutely right with this, this thing. ADOS is, 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 has become two things. Well, it's, it, it's a lineage that, it's a lineage, it's a people, a lineage that has been identified for a political purpose, a political movement. ATUS to me is a reality, right? With a political thing that we can follow. I put on a political hat when I deal with ADOS. Well, it's not a political hat, right? So I look for it for a, for political uh, marching orders instructions. Anything else, if you're going to talk about films, if you're going to talk about music, if you're going to attack Jay-Z, if you're going to be doing with the Breakfast Club or whatever have you, the Breakfast Club, they're not political. Leave them alone. Monique is not political. I know everything is political. I'm not getting to that. But leave it alone. Why are you commenting on that? You're supposed to be giving us our political marching orders. That's the whole point. If I need somebody to, 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 to jump on the pressure club, I listen to the big, you know, Professor Black Truth, you know, the Black Truth schlubs, you know what I mean? That's good enough. That's his lane, you know? Let him deal with that, you know? There's a whole thing with that. If I need to, you know, to, to deal with some film thing, you know, Tariq would be the one. He's in film, you know, well, documentary film, I see, maybe he's not really the one, you know? I have to go when I when I did my thing on, on joke, I had to go to somebody who, who was in that world. Not only is the person I interviewed, Mike Sargent, is a film critic for a long time, as long as I've been a film critic. But he's also, he knows the comic book world, right? He knows the whole, all the ins and outs. So when I interviewed him, because that's his bailiwick, you know? So we need to, this is an unnecessary beef. Thank goodness that Tariq is not really doing what he could do. Let me put, put it that way. Then, uh, unfortunately, this is going to make a whole bunch of other people going to jump on this thing and they're going to be, oh my gosh. And believe me, believe me, Tell him quality. Why leave the boy alone? Let me, I don't understand. Look, bother me. I keep on telling people, like Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. says, that people have their opinion. Let them do their opinion. You know, um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna jump around a little bit. There's a film called Bring on the Night. 
just about Sting when he had his jazz band. And uh, the, uh, Kenny Kirkman, Kenny Kirkman, the, 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 the organ, the keyboardist, right? He was, because of this film, they, they, they interviewed how this band came about as it was happening. And that, But he said something very interesting. He said, people say that, that, that. He said, he said, I have, I think the, I'm not quoting right. He said, I have another view on this. That's the point. We're all individuals. We come from different whatever. So we have different views on something. And just because you have a, a view and you have the breaking brown troops or you have the tone talk troops, doesn't necessarily mean that your view on something that's not in your belly work is correct. Tone should be just doing the data and doing the legal stuff. Invest should be doing the politics. Stop talking about stuff that's not, that, that other people are more qualified to talk about. Just leave it alone. I'm really serious with this. This is, this is serious. What Mr. Million Fuller says that every, yeah, let them do what they think. Then you say what you say, and then people let people choose. Let you know. Then, then, then if you're right, you're right. If you're wrong, you're wrong. But you don't keep on trying to hammer your point and beat somebody into the ground because you think you're right. It don't make no sense because you might not be right in the scheme of things. Okay, so that's everybody, including me. Settle down. Know what your not lame, but know what know what your thing is, right? And just do your thing. And leave, you have there's enough people out here. There's enough space. There's not that's how in the space, whatever it is, that you know. If somebody wants to deal with that, they deal with that. I mean, I listen to Fifty One Fifty, Corey Holcomb. That's it. and his lane is oh man, you know, between him and sometimes I listen to Joffrey Broad broadcast, but just to, to, Curry is whole, uh, Curry. Curry is something a whole different, right? So if I'm going to deal with something, say, say let's go to Monique, you know, I would listen to what Cor Corey has to say about Monique because that's his people's. You see what I'm saying? So that's it. So that's all I I, I, I better stop here because, you know, I've gone on way too long. I just want, the fighting is not necessary. Okay, do what you're supposed to do. Breaking Brown is for political education. Deal with the politics, you know, and it's more number. Believe me, you know how many people want to go to, to ADO's conference? Maybe not, you know, for, in, in October, you've been announced, the dates are ready, right? That you're not going to be able to hold all the people. So let, so let the cultural people, whoever have you, do, do, do the, the Foundation of Black Americans uh, um, a conference. It's not taking anything away from the political, what you're supposed to do in a political conference. In fact, it's, it's very effective. One, two. Who else? Who else come with another punch? Boom. You know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. I being me, T from the Pattersons taking the train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect on this total mess <laughs> in the reality of the A D O S. <laughs>